what's up everyone thanks for checking out my channel and subscribing um, so in this video what we're going to be doing is working with um, automation um, so I'm, this is one of my new songs I'm currently uh, getting ready to mix in and um, at the very bottom I've got this track called Punch Trance Bass and I'm going to go ahead and play that so you can hear what it sounds like So that's what it actually sounds like. And um, if you notice when you hear the sound, you hear that um, the bass line goes up about halfway through and then it drops back down. So um, basically, in order to make this work correctly, is first you got to create yourself a bass line. Um, so I already actually done, you know, created the bass line, which is, you can see the, the notes here and the arrangement of the notes playing. Um, so if you want to do automation, create your baseline first and then click on automation and what it actually does now, it kind of puts your notes in the background. I mean, they're, they're still there. You can still see them, but what it does, it kind of brings to the front um, the, um, the actual points and the lines of how the sound will be shaped and formed or altered. So um, I'm going to try to explain this as, as best as I possibly can. Um, hopefully everyone will understand um, what's going on here. So um, basically, once you click on the automation, um, you can see the track. The track opens up, and you have a couple options here that you can select on. Um, so what I've done actually is I've um, selected the Mod Pad X, and um, I've selected the Mod Pad Y. So in order for me to actually do that, what I had to do first is um, select the unit. So these are all the units here, or the, the um, tools, or the um, sound um, plugins that I, I can actually change um, parameters for through the um, automation. So um, I'm using the actual ES2, as you can see here, ES2. So all I got to do is hold down my, my left mouse button here, and then select the ES2. And then at this point, I would then look for... Um, whatever type of um, you know envelope I was working on or um, you know or whatever filter but in this particular instant what I'm going to be looking at is the vector envelope and if you look over here you'll see there's mod uh, pad uh, X and mod pad Y so I already selected these two you can see they're slightly uh, a little bit darker in color more bold so I already selected these two here so the one that I'm currently on is a Mod Pad Y. So if I open up the ES2 window right here, um, if you look, you'll see this little tiny square box here between the Y and the X. And um, if I play this now, watch what happens. Watch what happens to this little box. You'll see it moving. Okay, so basically what I'm doing is the X is telling the little square box this is the path that basically I want you to follow um, when the sequencer plays. And when the sequencer plays, it just follows these data points and tells that little box here in this little square grid to move in that exact direction. Um, so the X is one direction and the Y is another direction. So once I set up my X, I set up my Y, or you can do it vice versa. So this is, this, this is the designated path that um, X, and you can see right here it says X is supposed to follow. Now if I go to um, ES2 Mod Pad Y, you'll see a slightly different um, uh, design here in the points and how this is laid out. So you can see it slowly ramps up, and then it plateaus, and then it drops straight back down. And then it just repeats the same sequence over and over again per bar, per each um, set of bars. So, um, so this is the designated path. Now if you look in the back, you'll see there's your mini notes, right, or your notes still in the back. Then you'll see some um, kind of Turkish um, blue-green color back here. 
um, which represents um, other automation on the track that is currently not active. I mean, it's going to play the automation, but it cannot be edited at this point because it is not selected at this point. So um, the current automation that we're working with right now is the Mod Pad Y, and that's what you're seeing as the highlighted um, dark green. So that represents the Mod Pad Y. So if I was to change this to minus 0 0.25 and actually bring it higher or draw in more points, um, actually, let me change that because I don't, I don't want to do that. Just to delete those real quick. our pointer and we'll just stretch this guy up here like that and we'll try that so now watch what happens to the Y over here watch the little box and see which path it takes okay so if you look now you'll notice goes over towards the X and then jumps straight to the top real quick and then back down. Now this time it's not repeating so it's going to do the original automation and then back to the Y and down. Okay, so that's the automation part of it. Let's go ahead and go back to Mod Pad um, X and just change some of the settings here real quick and see what happens. I'm just going to draw some stuff in and now we're going to play it. Okay, so as you can see, the little square box did some crazy maneuvering within the little grid here. Um, actually jumped all the way up to the far right-hand side and then back down to the Y. So, so that's the um, first tutorial on working with the Mod Pad Y and X and doing some automation. So pretty much you, your, your limitations are pretty much endless. Because um, if you look at the ES2, you can see all these different um, options you have here. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, out of this world. I mean, look at this. I mean, all this stuff here can be automated. You know, you got, you got mix and filters, you know, router, LFOs, all this different stuff. Basically, all these different options represent automation that you see on all these little knobs and switches and sliders and stuff here on the screen. So... I hope this video is helpful and um, kind of gets people started um, with automation in Logic Pro 9. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Please uh, rate my videos, please comment, and please do subscribe. Um, all your support is greatly appreciated, um, and please stay tuned for more awesome videos. Thanks.